Hey guys, Keku here, and today I wanted to go over two variants of the meta Acid Shredder build. Um, the one uses Agitator 4, while the other uses Attack Boost 4. And this is this might seem a no-brainer for the Agitator, uh, but the Agitator level 4 is actually not that different compared to the Attack Boost level 4 in terms of EFR. Actually, uh, in some cases, the ta Agitator loses to the Attack Boost level 4 EFR, uh, Attack Boost level 4 variant of the set in EFR by a lot. And I will go over in detail uh, how that is. So, uh, here we have both builds when Peak Performance and Agitator are both active. However, let's bring down Peak Performance and no Agitator, and you can see that my build has a higher EFR. I mean, sorry, not my build. Um, my the Attack Boost Level Four, which is my preferred uh, variant of this build, and Agitator um, has a very big difference uh, of twenty something EFR. And I've actually done some math right over here. So. Uh, before we start, I'm going to just give you guys a minute or two um, on on each build page so you can see what jewels I have running for each of the builds. And um, this is this is this actually should be named Gaudi's Meta Build. And this should be named Keku's copied homework build. So Gaudi's meta build. Uh, let's go over the um, so so it's it's using Master's Touch with Agitator. Um, this is also using Master's Touch, but with Attack Boost Level Four. The only two di only difference between these two builds is that I'm using. Uh, my build, my copied homework build, uses two uh, attack level four jewels and temporal mantle f uh, paired with the glider mantle. While this build uses uh, challenge two challenger jewels um, with uh, flawless, uh, I mean two fl flawless mantles uh, right here. Uh, so any elemental mantle with uh, two flawless jewels and the glider mantle with two maintenance flawless uh, jewels. And here we are going to go over the damage. I mean, actually, the math. So, um, in round one, um, no buffs. Uh, no buffs. This, me this means without peak performance and the monster is not agitated, uh, I win by 3.2% damage. So, uh, no buffs and with mantle one, I win by 3.2% damage. Um, so, mantle one would be the 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 flawless mantle and it would be the same because there is no peak performance on anyways with mantle 2 uh, my build I mean my copied homework build uh, goes up by 5% damage uh, difference between the Gaudi's build and my build um, and in total uh, in average that's a 3.8 damage increase without peak performance and the monster is not agitated and let's go uh, over when uh, peak performance is um, peak performance is act active and agitator is not active. So uh, in peak performance, when peak performance is on, uh, with no mantles, uh, I am I have three point three percent damage increase over over the over the acid shredder two build with agitator, and. Um, Peak performance, peak performance with mantle one. Uh, my build wins by three percent damage, and peak performance level one. Uh, I mean peak performance without agitator. Uh, Keku wins by uh, zero point eight percent damage. So in this scenario, um, without peak performance and I mean with peak performance and without agitator, I have two point four percent damage increase. So going on to when the monster is agitated, this is when uh, m when my copied homework build loses against uh, Gaudi's meta build. However, uh, 
the numbers are a little bit smaller as you can see over here. So uh, Agitator and no mantles and uh, no peak performance, uh, I'm losing 1% damage. Uh, Agitator, no peak, uh, mantle 1, I lose, I, I win by 0.5% damage. This would be the, this would be the, um, the, the temporal mantle with two, uh, two, attack decorations and round seven with agitator no peak uh, mantle two I lose by one percent so um, I have a 0 0.5 percent damage what I mean negative 0 0.5 percent to percent damage when the monster is not agitated when the monster is agitated and peak performance is off so wow I'm doing a terrible job of this but anyways here's the number right here so yeah, so when the monster is agitated and peak performance is not active, I my copied homework build loses 0.5% uh, damage. And let's go to the final round where peak performance and agitator are both active and with no mantles. Um, uh, my variant loses zero. I mean, one percent damage, and with mantle one, I lose three point four percent damage. This would be the temporal mantle with the uh, two attack jewels because peak performance is on. And uh, round ten, the final round, agitator with mantle two, uh, agitator with peak performance and mantle two, I lose by one percent damage. Uh, so in in average, I lose 1.8% damage when the monster is agitated and peak performance is on. So, uh, how... Wait, sorry, let me just check the real quick. Uh, 1 plus 1 plus 3.4 divided by 3. Yep, so <laughs> that's weird how numbers work. But anyways, um, so... In in conclusion, uh, numbers wise, my total average is uh, so that so in numbers wise in EFR, like in total mathematical terms, uh, the attack boost four variant is very better than the agitator four variant by zero point nine seven percent, and that is because the monster is not agitated and uh, agitator. Um, agitator, like this, I, I, I think the agitator uh, works around 60% of the time, so that's pretty close to uh, how, um, when the monster is not agitated. And also, you need to keep in mind that when the monster is not agitated, the greatsword gets a lot of opportunities for free hits, and that is possibly when you want the most damage uh, that you can have. And that's why I think this build is uh, is a little bit better, or I mean, mathematically, it's 0.97% better than the Acid Shredder by Gaudi's build. But my copied build with the attack boost level 4 um, is going to be... It's going to be do dealing uh, quite a little bit more damage uh, when the monster is not agitated. So in, you, as you see here, when peak performance is not active and the monster is not agitated, that's a 3.8% damage increase over the Gaudi's build. And when the monster is um, when the monster is is uh, was not agitated and you have peak performance, you have a 2.4% damage increase. So. In total, um, I don't think that there is the, that much of a difference between the two because you still get a damage increase when the monster is agitated for uh, Gaudi's build. However, that's not as much as how much damage you're getting uh, when you're... So this 3.8 versus 1.8%. So this is when the monster is not agitated, well, this is when the monster is agitated. So... Um, take it as you will. Uh, so it's either the choice between 3.8% damage increase when the monster is not agitated or a 1.8% damage increase when the monster is agitated. So yeah, uh, two builds are very, very similar, but increment uh, very marginally, uh, the attack boost 4 variant in my eye comes out as better in my, in my view because 
the monster, uh, when it's not agitated, um, you have a lot of opportunities as such as two free wall bangs that you get, and that means two, uh, two or even three times that you can do a true charge, th true, uh, uh, a free true charge three slash. So uh, that means uh, you can just go ham on the monster uh, with as much damage as you can in in the in the non-agitated phase and in the agitated phase you just uh, play it kind of cool and um, and just just uh, play play with uh, with less damage than the uh, agitator version build but, but not by much so here are the numbers uh, so the numbers tell me that the acid shredder 2 with attack boost level 4 rather than the agitator 4 is marginally better and I am inclined to agree with that well anyways uh, this was the second episode of the meta build for greatsword uh, and you know I'll have links to both of these uh, builds below and um, yeah so you guys can check it out and yeah, have a great time hunting. Thank you.